Welcome back lottery fans. Today I'm going to show you a pick three rundown that's going to harness the power of triangles. And why triangles you say? Well triangles are a very powerful shape. Uh, for example pick three is three numbers. Triangles have three sides so it's definitely appropriate for a pick three lottery but beyond that they've been used in nature, they've been used in architecture, you know the, uh, the old Egyptians used them to build their pyramids. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to use a pick three rundown using triangle numbers. Uh, and if you don't know what triangle numbers, don't worry. I'll show you what a triangle number is as we go through the rundown. So I'm going to do this for a couple of different states so you can see how it works. Uh, and then you can go ahead and try it in your state and let me know if it's working for you. So uh, we're going to kick this off. Uh, we're going to start by doing our first state. And we're going to use Oklahoma for our first state. And specifically, uh, we're going to start with the drawing on the 23rd. And we're using our, our, our pick three lines rundown worksheet. If you want a copy of this worksheet, you can go ahead and download it for free from lotterypredictor.com in the resources section. I'll leave a link below in the description. Uh, but we're only going to need the one result. Uh, so uh, we're going to go, as I said, this is going to be triangle numbers. I spelled triangle wrong. Forgive me. I'll spell it right next time. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take the result from the 23rd of March for Oklahoma, and it was a 695. Now what is a triangle number, you may be saying? Well, a triangle number is basically, uh, if you were to draw an equilateral triangle, uh, how many dots would it take to fill in that equilateral triangle? And I know that's kind of an ambiguous, uh, an ambiguous kind of statement because an equilateral triangle can be any size but say for example we were to use uh, dots as an equal spacing for the triangle so if we were to draw a triangle like this that is three dots and then we can go ahead and draw our next triangle make it a little bit bigger add an extra line to it it would look something like this and that would be six dots and then we go ahead and we draw the next triangle down making it just another big a little bit bigger adding another line to it and we go ahead and that would be 10 dots and we can keep going down adding more and more lines to our triangle making it bigger and bigger and counting up the number of dots and that's how we get our triangle numbers it's actually a very well known uh, mathematical series of numbers used in a lot of different equations for different things but the actual uh, the actual numbers actually work out to be uh, one is the first one so if you were to use a one dot triangle and then 3, 6, 10, 15, 21, 28, 36, 45, 55, and 66. And it keeps going on for a lot longer, actually, forever. You can make a triangle as big as you want. But these are the numbers that we're actually going to use for our rundown. And I'll show you how to apply these triangle numbers to our rundown right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the head this... Let's go ahead and take this 695, put it on the first line here. Then you're going to want to get a calculator, uh, and you definitely want a calculator for this, because what we're going to do is we're going to take this 695, and we're going to multiply it by each triangle number as we go down the lines here. So we're going to take 695, and we're going to multiply it by 3. We're going to skip 1, because 1 would just give us 695. We're going to multiply it by 3. So we take 695, multiply by 3, it gives us 2085. Now, because it's pick three, we only need these three numbers here, 085, so we'll put a 085 in there. Then you're going to want to clear out the calculator again. This is not an incremental uh, multiplication. We're going to keep multiplying 695 by our triangle numbers. So we're going to take 695, multiply it by our next triangle number, which is 6, and that will give us a 170. That was a multiplication by 6. Uh, the next one is 10, so we've got 3, 6, 10, 3, 6, 10. So we'll take 6, 9, 5, multiply it by 10, and that gives us 9, 50. And we're just going to keep going down, keep multiplying by our triangle numbers. 6, 9, 5, multiply by 15. Make sure you always blank out that calculator, because if you don't blank out that calculator when you're doing these math, uh, you will end up getting the wrong numbers and the wrong predictions. So 15 was a 425. It would be 695 by our next one, which is, whoops, 695 by 21. Oh, 
I can't type today. 695 by 21 equals, there we go, 595. Next one down is a 28. And you don't have to do all 10 lines. You can certainly stop at 5 if you want, or however many lines you actually want to play. That's what you can stop at. I'm just going to do six lines, uh, 10 lines as an example for, this, uh, for your rundown here. Next one is 36. 695 multiplied by 36. Oops. 695 multiplied by 36. Oh, I didn't count. There we are. I didn't didn't clean out the calculator properly, and I got 17 million. That was a wrong number. Here we go. Zero to zero. Next one is 45. That's a 695 multiplied by 45 is 275. Six. Oops. 695 multiplied by the next one down, which is 55. Is a two, two, five, and then finally sixty-six, which is our last triangle number that we're going to be using, and it's an eight, seven, zero. So we go. There are ten numbers influenced by our mathematical uh, series of numbers, the triangle numbers, uh, and these are the ten numbers that we can start playing. As I said three is a powerful number. Triangles are made based on threes. Uh, pick three is pick three. So hopefully this rundown should work. Give it a try in your state. Let me go ahead and give you uh, another example of a different state now, that we, just so you get a, an idea of this rundown working again. And this time I'm going to use the Tennessee Evening Lottery. And we're going to use the start date of 324 for this. Oops, 324, not 34. I'm not sure when uh, our calendar started going up to 34 days in a month. Probably wouldn't be good. And so we're going to use our triangle numbers, which, as you remember, the triangle numbers is the number of dots that it would take as we increase the size of our triangles. And if we were to draw triangles in greater sizes each time adding another line to our triangles, those are the number of dots it would take to fill in. So we end up with a 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21, 20. 8, 36, 45, 55, and 66, and onwards and onwards. So go ahead and take our number, 178, and so if we skip number 1, because number 1 would just, you know, 1 times 178 would just give us 178, so we've already got that number, so our first one is going to be multiplied by 3. So we take that 178, multiply by 3, it gives us a 534. Next triangle number is a 6, so we'll take 178, multiply by 6, and gives us a 1068. And as always, we only take these last three numbers because this is a pick three. So there we go. Always making sure we're clearing out the calculator as we go through these. Next one is a 780, Let's multiply by 10. Next one we're going to multiply by 15. 178, whoops, 178 multiplied by 15 gives us a 670. Next one down is a 21. 178 multiplied by 21, 738. Next is a 28. 28. And as with all my rundowns, as you try this out, uh, I recommend trying to do some uh, backtracking you know go back a couple of weeks uh, pick a date and then run through this rundown to see if the numbers are actually hitting for you uh, and if you do find this rundown hitting in your state uh, keep on playing it uh, if you don't want to do uh, the backtracking because it can be a lot of work to go ahead and start uh, doing a lot of backtracking what you can do is you can start you can do this rundown and then you can start playing for about three or four days and if after three or four days you, you don't see any hits uh, then it's probably a good indication that the rundown isn't hot in your state right now. Uh, so you probably want to go ahead and switch it out for a different rundown. And you can find lots of different rundowns on my channel. Uh, definitely subscribe to the channel so you can actually see all the different rundowns. But go ahead and browse all the other videos. I've got lots of pick four rundowns, uh, pick three rundowns, uh, lottery wheels, all, all that kind of fun stuff. So definitely do that. And as we come down to the last one here, 
66, 178 times uh, 66, and gives us a 748. So there we go, those are 10 numbers we can now start playing in the Tennessee evening lottery. So there we go, that is the triangle number uh, pick three rundown. Uh, as I said, give it a try in your state. Uh, let me know how it's working for you. If you like these kind of numerology style rundowns where I, I pick uh, you know, common mathematical formulas, mathematical number patterns, that kind of stuff, and apply them to our various different uh, uh, rundowns for pick three and pick four, definitely leave me a comment below. I'd like to hear your feedback on these. Uh, give me a thumbs up for the video if you like it. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.